Tracy was Peter Hanrahan with a time of 16.31. So no sign of no, no sign of Peter in second. We had Michael Bruton with a time of 16.20. And our winner, Fleet of Foot, 16.17, Ian Caprono. Fast food, but anyways, fast food it off. Yeah. So we'll move on to the women then. In the third place from UCCAC with a time of 1823 was Carly Cook. In second place, I know she's here, she should be anyway, from Ballymore Cove AC with a time of 1725, Sophie O'Sullivan. So it was a great time. Sophie, just stay up there. And a great time and a great winner with a time of 17.10. She travelled down from Dublin as well. And from Blackrock AC, it's Amy Rose Farrell. So just to say as well, the prizes for the women for, were from Queen Bee Athletics and then also sponsored for the male prizes were Keen On Sport. So we might just invite uh, Sonia, I think I can take it off and stretch it up to you. We get Sonia just to say a couple of words. Alright. I've been speechless tonight so far, haven't I? <laughs> Missing in action. Um, just want to say thanks to everybody for coming along tonight and it really looked like everybody had a lot of fun, especially when you were running down the hills, which is very unusual in Cove, you know, because normally if you run down you have to run back up again. <laughs> That's, that's how you get strong as well and good and fit and fast and that's why uh, all these new Ballymore Cove athletes that have been uh, running around the town, every time I see them on the Facebook they're getting faster and running, and running further so uh, it's great to see the club growing and doing such a good job and thanks to all the volunteers who helped out tonight without you definitely many people might have got lost and they might have ran up a few more hills than they would need to. <laughs> But um, it's absolutely great, you know, to have a race like this in Cove. Um, I suppose being, I think it, it started off fantastic this afternoon with the kids race up in the field and just the, when they were running around the laps and the little funnel of parents and friends all cheering from the noise was fantastic. It <clears throat> really, I think, kind of built up a nice atmosphere and then funneling into the start line as well today um, was great. It gave you the feeling of being at a big event and, um, you know, I suppose it... It does feel like a big event in Cove tonight and you know you could sense it building I think throughout the week here so I'd just like to thank everybody who you know put in a lot of time and effort over the past week or so um, and more than that you know from Athletics Ireland, from Ballymore Cove, uh, from our sponsors Euromedic um, who you know I didn't know who Euromedic were until the start of this year and uh, I was told exactly what they did and we were driving around Cork City yesterday on the one-way system and Sophie says to me, oh look, there's your medic. <laughs> so, you know, when, uh, when you see something like that, then obviously a sponsor is, um, they're helping us, but then we'll also be helping them when we need to go and get X-rays and MRIs and all that kind of stuff, which you know we all eventually need to do as athletes. <laughs> and hopefully to tell you good news. <laughs> but anyway, um, we have more prizes or we're done? I think we're pretty much done. We're done? What? No prizes for the old people? Only <laughs> <laughs> for the young people. <laughs> I There's a free MRI for every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose we have to be grateful. We all got a gold medal tonight. So I hope you're all very happy with that and I hope you treasure it. And, um, you know, it brings back lots of memories for me from 20 years ago. And um, 
I'm sure many of you who supported me as well and who were up late at night and uh, you know getting nervous, probably more nervous than me, <laughs> but because um, you couldn't do anything about it and I could, I had, I was in full control um, for that one anyway. <laughs> We'll, we'll, do a, we'll invite people up now shortly. Sean Callan is going to lead the charges. We're going to do a bit of a photo opportunity with Sonia. But I just think that uh, it's important to mark that I, I feel it's a, a fantastic celebration and also a great family moment here for the O'Sullivans. And uh, also, obviously, there's John O'Sullivan as always over there. And he was lashing out waters and bit hits. But also, just to mark that, it's great to see Nick. But oh, Sonia O'Sullivan's husband is here as well as Sophie. And I think. Kira's a little bit more like the, the, the Mrs. O'Sullivan as well. They're, they're in the background, but they'll be down shortly on Sunday for the uh, statue presentation unveiling on Sunday at 3 o'clock. So I think that we'd love to see it if everybody is down here and they're still down, that they'll be here at 3 o'clock tomorrow. And it's just, I think it's great that we, I think that's what Athletics Ireland, uh, that we try to emphasize. And I think that's why people like Euromedic get on board with this, is that we're here to run, but I think just that we want to get through that, the value and the, the good sense that running gives us and this, the kind of the family kind of orientation that we are trying to drift towards more and more and I think it's very important and just like to acknowledge that John and Sophie is here and also Nick as well with Sonia just to really I think it gives it that extra bit of special feeling that they've all gotten behind this event and it just shows you how important that it is for you people as well to be here with us to mark such a special occasion because it's not as you can see at the moment it's not every day we're going to have a world champion and obviously she's given us so many great memories and I think that's special to mark that everybody has, has come along for this special occasion for the statue that's going to be unveiled as well tomorrow. Sean, you can start here. We're going to take Eddie's going to